In Act 1, Scene 4 of Macbeth, King Duncan asks for confirmation on the execution of the previous Thane of Cawdor. Malcolm, his son, says he heard that Cawdor died honorably by confessing his treason and repenting before he died. Macbeth and Banquo enter with Ross and <coughs> Angus. Duncan thanks Macbeth and Banquo for their heroism and loyalty. They return his thanks and express their gratitude to Duncan. Duncan gives Macbeth the title Thane of Cawdor and the lands that come with the title. He then announces Malcolm as his heir to the throne. Macbeth swears loyalty to the king, but considers to himself that Malcolm is now in his way to the throne. The description of Cawdor's death will later stand in sharp contrast to Macbeth's own end. Whereas Cawdor felt remorse for his betrayal, Macbeth's last words reveal no remorse. Although the traitor Cawdor has now been executed, his death is not cause for celebration. Now that Macbeth has received his new title, confirming part of the prophecy, he is changed. Whether he truly believes the witch's prophecies, or whether his ambition for power and prestige have taken hold, or both, Macbeth has accepted the predictions and has begun to quietly plot his way to the throne.